Have you ever out on the golf course and your playing partner say something you know is golf related but you really haven't got a clue what it means or sometimes when you're watching telly commentators say something yeah you're there yes 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 I know what that means no you really haven't got a clue do you come on let's head over to the golf course I'll run you through some of the craziest ones we'll figure out what they mean come on That's a look lads, okay? Five, 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 okay? Five, 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 two, 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 ten, ten, ten. It's basically a side bet in your own group. It's called a NASA. Five, five, five means you're playing for a fiver whoever wins the front nine, a fiver whoever wins the back nine, and a fiver to whoever wins overall. So three separate bets you could stand to win or lose 15 quid. Just remember when some guy shouts it out on the first tee, have enough money in your pocket to cover it, or else be a very poker faced gambler with a serious game of golf. Down, down. Oh, so I've air mailed the green. The ball was rising as it got to the green. Oh, use the 48 degree wedge instead of the 56. An air mail is basically when you overshoot the green. Ah, disaster. Baba Booey! Idiot. The term Baba Booey got its origins from the Howard Stern radio show. The producer, his name was Gary Delabate. One day he was talking about his favourite cartoon, Quick Draw McGraw, that he used to watch when he was a kid. And Quick Draw McGraw's sidekick was called Baba Louie, but he kept saying Baba Booey. Howard Stern said, Oh, everyone's going to remember you for this. And Gary said, No, everyone will forget about it. So every day after that, Howard Stern on the radio called Gary Baba Booey. Then somebody shouted at one day at a golf course, and the rest is history. Idiots. This is a dog, and, sorry Pix, this is a dog leg. You hit your drive this way, and then you chip in this way. It's not straight, it bends like a dog's leg. Thanks Pix, great help. Hello, Daddy. We lost. Yeah, hammered. They gave us the dog license. The dog license. It's an old match play term, meaning you lost seven and six. So there are seven holes up with six to play. It's an absolute hammering. The term refers back to the price of the old dog license in the UK, free decimal currency. A dog license used to cost seven shillings and six pence, or seven and six. In the 2012 Ryder Cup, Keegan Bradley and Phil Mickelson, well they gave Luke Donald and Lee Westwood the dog license and the foursomes. But whatever happened in that Ryder Cup? You still there daddy? What happened in the 2012 Ryder Cup at Medina? It was a miracle! We won! Oh my god that's great, I'm so happy now! Europe! You're not giving me this? No! Yes, three up, three to play. Dormy. Dormy. It's a term used in golf when there's an, you have an insurmountable lead in match play. It comes from the French word dormir, to sleep. It means you can sleep or you can relax now because you can't lose. I'm three up, three to play. I can't lose. Yes. Don't go to sleep. Go for the jugular. Best look, chap. Oh, lads, can I have a mulligan? A mulligan. It's basically a free shot to hit again. It actually dates back to the 1930s where it was this guy called Buddy Mulligan in New Jersey and he was a locker room attendant at a country club and his two mates, they were uh, assistant pros at the club. So every evening he used to sneak out for a game of golf with the guys. And because they were practicing and playing all day, when Buddy Mulligan hit a bad shot, he said to the guys, come on guys, you've been practicing all day, give me a free shot. And the term became known as a mulligan. All the members in the country club loved it. They called it a mulligan and it caught on. It's basically a free shot to hit again. Oh, 
Oh no, I've shanked it. The shank, it's a word so feared in golf that most people won't allow you to say it. The S word, it's basically when instead of the ball hitting off the face, it hits off the hosel of the club here. It's basically, and the ball shoots off to the right. It's basically because the club suddenly closes at impact. The term shank, it's an old butchering term, meaning the lower leg. Oh God. Don't say it, just call it the S word. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God, it's eight o'clock in the morning and they're already around 10 on the stint meter. What is a stint meter? Well, it's basically a tool green keepers use to measure the speed of the greens. It's basically a stainless steel stick with a hole in the top about 36 inches long. And the green keepers place the ball in the hole in the top they raise it up and the ball rolls across the green. Then they do it in the other direction. They add the two distances together and divide by two. And basically, however far the ball rolls in feet is how fast the greens are rolling. So if normal club greens are rolling eight to 10 feet on the stint meter, that's pretty fast. US open greens, they could be up to 12 feet on the stint meter. They don't say feet, they'll just say on TV that the greens are rolling 12 on the stint meter. When you hear that, be ready for carnage. Ah, sugar. I'm stymied. Can't go for the green. Gonna have to skip out. Oh no, I'm stymied. A stymie used to actually be part of the rules of golf. If your opponent's ball was between your ball and the hole, you couldn't ask your opponent to mark the ball. You had to play it as it lies. So you basically had to chip it over your opponent's ball to try and get it into the hole. If by accident you knocked your opponent's ball into the hole, well then he or she completed the hole without taking an extra shot. I would be faced with this. Oh dear. Oh no. I'm glad they did away with this rule. Silly rule. Anyone see it? Oh my God, it's still here. I've completely whiffed it. A whiff is basically a full-blooded attempt to hit the golf ball that completely misses. I've whiffed it. Why do I feel nervous now? Oh no, I've yipped it. The yips. A lot of people suffer from them with the putter or chipping. It's a terrible affliction. It's basically an involuntary spasm, jerk or jitter just as you're about to hit the ball. Scientists think it could be due to anxiety or a neurological um, thing called focal dystonia. Basically, the term yips was coined by an American golfer. He was a great tournament player called Tommy Armour. He basically had to give up the game after he got the yips. I hope you never get them. They're terrible. So there you have it. Whip, stymie, mulligan, shank, airmail, baba booey. And all done before breakfast. Better get back to my real work before the guys catch me out of the office. Best of luck.